She's Kat. And he's Mr. B. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our kitchen. kitchen. This is a turkey breast, a frozen turkey breast. I'm going to get up close so you can see it's got herbs on the top. Can you see that through there? So I got this from Zacon Fresh. I got six of them. They're four pounds a piece approximately. And today I couldn't think what to make, so we're going to make a turkey breast in the crock pot. So I've cut the cover off. These come in like vacuum packs, so you can really, there goes the cuckoo. Cuckoo. You can really see the herbs on here and you cook it herb side up. You can see when I got these uh, in my Zacon Fresh haul, there's another, another video on that, but you can see it's really on there. Oh. Need help? I think I got it. That's muscle. It's just frozen. Muscle up, girl. Yeah, I need your help. So I'm gonna put this beauty right in my crock pot. I'm gonna put the lid on. It's got the herb side up and I'm gonna cook it on low all day. Now there's something I just remembered. That, that little suctioned on bag, you're supposed to actually cook them in that bag in the oven. But I really didn't wanna do that in my crock pot. I want it to be kind of open in there. So that's why I took it off. Have a great day and we'll be back in a little bit Larry and I have been to church and run around and done some things, and now it's been eight hours, so I'm gonna turn our turkey on, keep warm, and take it out and slice her up. Looks wonderful. Okay. Very tender. Look at that, it smells wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and slice the whole thing and put it back in the juices and keep it that way for a little bit. It'll be great for leftovers for Larry this week while I'm gone. I'll be at my parents taking care of them this week. Oops, stay here, stay here. Ooh, that's hot. Mm, that looks good. That looks good. Mm. Cooked all the way through, smells wonderful. All right, now I'm gonna transfer it back to the pot. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. All right. Scarfing a bite. Hold on. That's good. Take this bite right there. Okay. Ooh, don't cut my fingers off. And just stay out of my stuff. Okay. Back into the oh. pot. Back to the pot, please. Yum. Okay. That's it. Back to me, please. <laughs> so that's it and it was super super easy in a little bit I'm gonna make some um, Brussels sprouts and a sweet potato and this is gonna make a great dinner maybe we'll have some watermelon for dessert the turkey's all made so we're now we're gonna make our sides and I'm gonna start with our Brussels sprouts so as you can see on my cutting board I've cleaned up oh, about three-quarters of a pound of Brussels sprouts because it's just the two of us if you're making this for four you'd need about a pound and a half and just about, what is that, about an eighth of a cup of red onion, you would use about a half a cup of red onion for this. I've got, oops, two pieces of bacon cut up, you would use four. And I've got three quarters of a cup of, well, half a cup to three quarters of a cup of broth, you would use a cup or more. And we're gonna use about a half a tablespoon of olive oil, so let me turn the eye on. We're gonna go around the pan one time you're gonna go around two times. First thing I'm gonna do is once this pan gets hot, is I'm gonna add this red onion for a minute or two. It's already speaking to us, so that's good. I'm gonna use a wooden spoon for this. I'm gonna let that cook for a minute or two. Do we need a light on this? Let's turn the light on. Is that better? Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna cook these for a minute or two and I'll be right back. So it's been a couple of minutes now and we're gonna put the Brussels sprouts in. And when I say we clean the Brussels sprouts, this is a little Brussels sprout and I cut the end off. These are small. If you have bigger ones than this, then you need to cut those in half. And basically what we're going to do is just get these coated with oil. 
Drop one. Oopsie. Okay. I may need a little bit more oil. Not much. I'm going to let them cook about five minutes. So I'll see you in five. So these are nice and kind of browned up a little bit. See how that looks? And we're going to put some salt on them. Just salt to taste. Not much salt in there. I hope I got some. Sea salt, right? Mm -hmm. Pepper. And we're going to put our broth. Chicken broth. Chicken. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough. I'm not going to put my well, food off. And then we're going to put a lid on it. A lid out. And we're going to let it simmer in there for about 10 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm going to make sweet potato in the microwave, which will be super easy. Also, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and cook a couple pieces of bacon up and cut them into bacon bits because we're going to top them with that. And it's Yum. going to be delish. Yes. So there they are. All that broth has been absorbed. I'm going to shake these bacon bits down on them. And let's see if we can flip them a little bit. Yeah. Those are ready. You have to teach me that trick. Cool trick. You have to be very talented. <laughs> All right. That's it. I'll see you in just a second with our plates. Okay. It's Mr. B here. There's our beautiful plates. Cat fixed a great meal for us. We're going to enjoy this. We'll be back in just a moment to say goodbye. We enjoyed that great meal. It was awesome. Cat fixed a great meal and it was delicious. Thanks. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Hey, and you guys come on back to our kitchen.